This is just a very quick update video for any of you that have been waiting for a progress report on the HP 9862A plotter project. In the previous videos in this series I went through the repair of the plotter itself um, but I didn't have the interface that's required to connect the plotter to the 9830A calculator. So I decided to make one. There are, you can get them off eBay, but they're a ridiculous price, and um, I decided I didn't want to go that route. And so I've decided to um, produce my own, and I'll be making the bare boards available to anyone that wants them. But um, one of the issues I had was, of course, to create the PCB itself, and uh, finally got as far as um, laying out the schematic from the various sources of information I could find. So thanks to anyone that's uh, sent me information on this and uh, finally I believe I've got the schematic correct laid out the board but one of the problems uh, I was having was um, when I do this sort of thing uh, I can only find images of the uh, the boards and the assemblies and, and whatever else online and um, the problem in trying to reverse engineer them is that normally the photographs are taken in some sort of artistic uh, form so the, um, it's, the camera's not square on and even if it is square on there'll be distortion because of the lens of the camera so trying to figure out the exact dimensions from uh, photographs online is always difficult you have to uh, correct for distortion perspective all this sort of thing and uh, I ended up with uh, this and um, luckily somebody that uh, is uh, very uh, into HP systems um, sent me this and this is not the interface I need to interface the uh, plotter um, this is a, a TTL interface um, but this is the same um, form factor shape and size uh, physically as the interface that I need to make so thanks for that Jack it will be extremely useful and what I can now use this for of course is to take this apart and um, take some measurements and make sure that what I've created will actually fit into uh, the cases. Now I could of course have made a completely custom case that would fit into the uh, calculator uh, but I'm doing reproductions I like to keep them fairly uh, true to form and as close to the originals as possible. Uh, also if somebody decided they wanted one of these boards had the enclosure I wanted it to fit into the original enclosures. So the way I go about checking this now um, is I've printed off to scale um, the uh, PCB I've designed and as I said this was taken from um, various photographs and the way I do this is I take critical measurements so I know how far apart the um, pins on the edge connector should be for example I know how far apart the pins on the uh, ICs are and so I can in general work out some sort of scale um, some of the dimensions are more difficult to get than others uh, also because of the uh, source and nature and age of this um, particular machine I can kind of make some assumptions so I can assume that this was laid out on a, um, a grid pattern that was uh, not metric so it would have been an imperial um, grid pattern and then I can use increments that make sense and uh, hopefully it all ties up and it comes out with um, meaningful value. Sometimes that's not the case and the uh, positions of some components are just completely random but uh, in general companies like HP especially for mountings and overall sizes they tended to stick to some fairly well um, specific and um, grid pattern type uh, dimensions. So what I can do now is dismantle this unit and compare the board in it with this board. It should be uh, the same size and more specifically the hole pattern needs to match the mounting holes for this. So I've taken the screws out of this already. I'll be making a case for this. I'll need to make a base plate. This is uh, metal and uh, then I'll 3D print the case. And uh, I want the board I uh, end up with to be compatible with the mounting for this. The components are different of course but the overall um, layout of the board in terms of its border and the hole pattern needs to be the same. So what I do is uh, lay this on so I haven't tried this yet I'm just going to have to move it uh, to one side so I can see down on top. Um, also I can't see through the camera. I'm just going to line up the holes so that they line up 
Okay, so, so once that's in place, what I can then do is hold the board down and take a pen and keeping it as vertical as possible, just transfer some marks through to the paper. And because the image has been printed to scale, then the marks I've just made should be somewhere fairly close to the center of the pads I've defined for the drill holes. And indeed, they're looking quite close. So we've got one here, 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 and here. And uh, with, within a, a, a fraction of a millimeter, so um, that's looking quite uh, promising and certainly acceptable. As I say, there will be on a grid pattern, so allowing for the inaccuracy of this method, um, then this looks like this is actually correct. The outline also seems correct, so that's fine. The relative position of the pads, so if I align the board you notice that the pad positions also line up correctly as well. So that is looking quite good. We'll try the other end. This end's not quite as critical because it's just an internal connector. So again, that looks fine. I'll do a few more measurements just to make absolutely certain. And um, that should enable me to uh, ensure that this will fit properly inside a properly dimensioned case. All I have to do then is a CAD drawing for this part, do some 3D printing of uh, one of these, and then a bit of metal work to make up a base plate. And um, what I can do is get some boards ordered. When the boards come in, we'll uh, get one assembled, and then that will be the next video in this series. We'll see if that interface works. If that works, I can move on to the reproduction ROM module card that I mentioned in the previous video. So uh, thanks again for that, Jack. That's uh, very useful. Gives me more confidence now to get the boards ordered. And um, hopefully when they turn up, they'll fit nicely into the enclosure.